Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hand of Fate 2. In the last one we did the Hanged Man, got gold on it, and this time we were going to be doing Death. Sounds scary. Someone has hired the Thieves Guild to kill you. They've sent their most lethal assassin, a man known as the Reaper. Survive the Reaper's arrow by raising max life above 130. Okay, does that mean we have to have also max life? Like we can't be like at 10 health but have 130 max? I guess so. Thieves deal more damage in combat, come prepared. Okay. If we want to not take damage, we're going to have to run Malclips on this. Okay, I don't want to bring any Brimstone cards if, uh, if damage is what we want to avoid. Oh. Which platinum, which new platinum do we want? Merchant's Favor or St. Tala's Day? Let's try St. Tala's Day. Anything new we'll throw in there. I mean, if we can get the, um,. The elixir of life. This would be the time. Caravan robbery, sure. Um, hmm. I don't really know how you get this one. Maybe you have to roll a 16 twice, because we did roll the 16 once and it didn't work. Alright, we're looking for max life cards. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just throw in cards we know are good. Mm. Fate's dealing is pretty good. Friendly innkeeper, maybe? That's not that great. Well, let's try the healer and help the priest. That works. Okay, so we want max life, so we will take anything that gives us max life, if I remember them. Pretty sure we have a shield that does Is it this one. Yes. Um, and there's a chest plate as well, isn't there? Hmm. There it is. Okay, so we have those. Any. This one heals us, I guess that's useful. Throw these two in. We have one more slot. Anything new? No. So we'll just throw in Hrethazar and I call it good. I guess that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. One the max life, the food, and we're fighting thieves. So we'll throw this in. All right, that works. To start. For many, the card of death represents change rather than mortality. For you, we will see. Do you hear them approaching? The whisper upon the winds. Dark forces ride forth to stop you. A filthy street urchin approaches you in a busy town market to ask, "You're one of the, f you're one, or you're the one who bound a mage and broke the raid leader of the north, aren't you?" I heard some bad men are, t are talking about you. Give us a bit of bread, and I'll let you in on a secret. She smiles after a few remaining teeth and stretches out her hand. You hand over a scrap of bread, while she quickly shoves it into her mouth. A moment later, she gulps and smiles again. Well, uh, oh, I heard that someone. Offered a lot of gold to have you killed, she remarks while picking her teeth. Now the whole guild wants in on it. Every thief from here on the Empire's Edge will be after you. They even spent, or even they even sent some fancy assassin. The fancy assassin. You know, the one they call the Reaper. Guess he's pretty good at his job, eh? Too bad, buddy. You seem nice, the girl remarks, patting your hand. Maybe you'll find a way to survive, but I doubt it. The girl leaves you to ponder your fate alone. So if we get 170, I guess we'll get the gold. Okay. Good luck taking this we really want me. to get elixir life here. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more we years have than I can count. Count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Oh no. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna hurt.
Okay, nothing bad happens. That sucks, I really wanted to get that. Caravan robbery could give us some max health though. Where is the map? There it is. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Carriage is empty. Perhaps you should have taken your time. Raid another. Well, luckily failure wasn't that bad. Ah oh, man. That should help. Wow, that was just terrible, but we still got a benefit out of it. I do wonder what the failure is going to be if we leave early. It's 15 gold. We could keep going, honestly. Let's do one more. Okay, that's still fine. Should we go again? Let's do one more. <laughs> oh no. Alright. We well, don't even have Malchus for this actually. Kind of tempted to start this over because we have not been onto a great start, which is my fault because I suck at wheel gambits. But I feel like if we would have gotten Elixir of Life early, it would have been so good. I'm assuming, of course, it gives you max life. Brigand's Blades, a sharp knife quickly applied underfoot or under cover of night. Uh, has long been the tool of footpads and criminals. I'm glad we put on the weapon of bad against these guys because they told us that we were going to be fighting thieves. Let's work on you. take damage as much as it may have looked like we did. Finish musket boy. There you go. That was lucky. Did not mean to roll there. Okay, good. You, you guys have got to go. I clicked shift like three times there, dude. That was actual bullshit. Oh my god. Thank you. Ooh. These guys have got to be real weak by now. Oh, uh-oh. You're coming in for a hit. Okay. How oh, are you guys not both already dead? There you go. Alright. Took a hit to bull crap, but whatever. Happens in this game. You should be Gang more careful given the price on your head. A pair of shady characters emerge from the shadows to block your path. The Empire is offering a pretty price for your head adventure, one of the men remarks while casually inspecting his blade. Nothing personal, the other adds as they advance towards you. Nothing personal, kiddo. Did 
should be easy. The brigands blades. Still no malaclips. <laughs> You really gotta pick your target and work on that one guy. Okay, that was pretty good. I blocked that. That's why you want Malaclips in this game, because he helps sort of patch up the combat a little bit because <laughs> there's so many problems with it that you end up taking damage that's unavoidable and then he doesn't he removes that damage form a powerful strike that creates a holy blast the blast deals 125 percent weapon damage to undead uh, okay so it's that or oh this is really good we'll take this and free food very good Aha, we can finally see what this does. Defend all attacks from a northern combo to cause a freeze to the attacker. Frozen enemies take 250% damage when, when hit. That's really good. After completing a brimstone encounter, draw a gain card. Okay. Gambler's Hood. Reroll twos and fives. After the first reroll in a dice gambit, optionally reroll all twos and fives. Okay. At the start of each new map, optionally bet 10 gold that you will end the level on full life. Winning draws... Uh, winning draws a gold gain card. That's cool. And the winds return. Death orang. Throw weapon and cause a uh, knockdown to a single target when activated. Catch the blade to gain plus 10 weapon charge. That's cool. Cause a stun to all mages when the weapon ability is used against a mage. Okay. And then I would love to be able to buy this, but we can't. We cannot. I don't think we need to buy food. We'll say that's good. Death comes closer and closer. I guess Can I should read this. It? For a few whales, you reveal to him uh, your current predicament. That the innkeeper sighs. I'm afraid there's little I can do other than heal you up whenever you visit. It's about the Reaper. I've heard of this assassin. He's, even kings once feared him. Though few, few could have afforded his services, um, if he hunts you, then you are in the dire peril indeed. Who now would possess the gold necessary to command him, unless it's the Emperor himself? Haha. -ha. Uh, the innkeeper's past. It was a great magician. I was a great magician once, working with the king himself, the man exclaims, gazing, gazing into the fireplace wistfully. Of course, that was that was before the Empire. Those days can er, these days you can get you can get hung for casting anything more than a simple healing spell. Even that in the wrong places. Alright, uh let's turn in for the night. Bid the innkeeper good night and rise in the morning, leaving fully refreshed. I'm hoping this process okay. will teach you something. Something about how the game is crafted mm. and how the rules abide. So stepping here Perhaps fully heals something you. about sleeping gently while deadly assassins are on your tail, too. The crowd seems unsettled, speaking with hushed voices and darting, er, darting glances around the room. Listen to the rumors. I hear the Reaper's been seen, one lad exclaims, drawing the attention to, of the other patrons. His arrow's deadly, never misses, and pierces armor and shield, so they say. I pity the one the Reaper stalks now. Their days are numbered. They say the Reaper is cursed by the gods to harvest souls for all eternity, a bold man declares ominously. Alright, we don't need to heal, so we'll stay. Or we'll leave, rather. Assassins. I'd hate everything they stood for if it wasn't for their occasional usefulness. I don't really have a, a thief follower. Alright, we gotta kill the guy who's marked first, which is this dude right here. Not you. you. Actually, it's kind of useless to do that because it heals us for five. We're already full health, but good practice, I guess. Uh, 
Alright. Did I lose my shield? I did. Took a hit there, but whatever. with that believe it or not I don't know if we're gonna get the uh, the max health okay, to fame well no oh, no that was just life never mind I thought that was max life so like, that's oh no it was max life okay that will help <laughs> sure take out the food oh man I thought I followed that optionally move directly directly to the level exit after any encounter where a you gained a life pain card. It's alright. Probably not gonna use it. Okay, save Tala's day. Got this on the last one for getting gold. On this day, penance and charity, you hear that a priestess will be blessing one and all for no cost at the Church of Fires. From the flustered priestess of the church, dealing with a huge crowd of peasants and nobles alike. Join the line, elbows are thrown and harsh words exchanged, but you finally make it to the front. Um... What blessing do you require? Quick, quick, I've, got, I've not got all day. Pick two. Bless for good health, wealth, uh, good harvest, glory, luck, quest any blessing. Let's try good health, I guess. See, plus 20 max life while no platinum cards are equipped. Okay, that brings us over 130 already. Um, and then after that, be blessed for glory. Okay, plus day fame. Uh, lose one fame after every encounter until this bonus is zero. Well, that's some crap. Next. That's like the worst blessing ever. <laughs> It'd be right to be suspicious, but then where is altruism in today's world? Fallen as far away chest. as hope. Where we get that? Let's go towards luck chest. That's what I normally do, because you usually fight corruption and uh, greed, and that's pretty easy. I think you fight the uh, the greed first, honestly, here. Just be ready to dodge the corruption, dude. The, what's it called? The Blight? Oh, there's a couple of Blights, actually. Okay, the next target. Oh, you're, uh, okay, I thought that was, we were fighting the big dude, this is just a regular, uh, like, tier 2 of life. This is fine. What the hell just happened? Oh, I wasted that. That's an eye. Oh man, I, I keep blinking so I got hit there. <laughs> I think he's got another shield though, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I gotta fucking get this thing out of my eye. Ah, they're much better. Hello! <laughs> oh my god, I was spamming after. Alright, finish this off. Honestly, you can hit me. Just go right ahead, there you go. So if we get Wrath of Zyre, funnily enough, we actually don't want to equip it because we lose 20 max life. Gain four fame, five food, and another five food. That's great. And in the chest. Oh wait, I have to open it first. There Back go. to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Equipment, Imperial armor. That's really good. 
We will put that on. Now we just have to get that health. Might actually get to 170 somehow. We can sell the brigands' blades. Borders Raider prevention. Power New card. Is placed upon them. Can you hold that power back, or will it fall with you? A peasant approaches you and says, "Great warrior, our village has become a regular target for the northern raids." Our raiders. They've set up a, a camp near our village. There's no need to kill them all. If you incite enough fear, they will leave us alone. We have little to offer, but I'm sure we could find something to give you for your troubles. That's easy. Easy. We don't actually have a choice, though. Which puts us right in. You would think that with a card like that, you'd have the ability to say no. We're too honorable for that. <laughs> All right. All right. We have. We can repose. Forgot about that. It's been a while since I fought Northerners with a one-hander. All right. Get back into that practice. We gotta be close. There you go. Go help Mal. Hello. Come on. Get up. Probably dead. There you go. I just took another shield, but I already have one. But, huh? Did we have a timer there? And I didn't notice? Oh, that's right. He said we didn't have to kill them all. Tell the peasants the cowardly northerners will not be bothering them any longer. Forgot you didn't have to kill them. Now we get a little bit of gold for it. That's fine. Once again to the tavern. Turn in. Once again to await your fates. We've somehow managed to make our way to 155. Do you have the shield that we want? No, what's this? It's an aura that ignores damage for, uh, from traps for 10 seconds when activated. Don't really want that. Don't actually want Wrath of Zyre. Maybe we want that. No, it's all right. Um, buy equipment, buy food. No, we're all right. We're all right. Death comes oh, for all of us. The reaping. Time, but some live to defeat it. Your unease grows as you return to the flailing. Dra the, yeah, the flailing dragon once more. Every shadow and bush seems like it may conceal your hunter. The innkeeper looks up at you as you enter. Ah, my favorite adventure, and still alive, I see. He goes on to relate the worrying news that his tavern has come to the Reaper's attention. We will leave the tavern. A storm and By troubles the sea. in the north. So it begins. You enter a tavern as a storm lights up the night sky. The bar is packed with fellow travelers seeking respite from the weather. As you make yourself comfortable in a relatively dry corner, a band of northern raiders kick in the doors. Perhaps your, so your soul's... Or prepare your souls for cleansing, godless heathens. Get ready your weapon. And your mouth clubs. Alright, bring it on. You already know I'm gonna focus this guy first. Another shield, bub. Some 
reason I'm not able to repulse the third attack. It's weird. You've got to be so close. Combat's going good today. Yesterday I can't say that that was the case. Trappers, you gotta go. Go. That was close, actually. He's already dead. damage taken, which is really nice. And he just can't believe himself. Look at that. Oh, wow. I accidentally clicked that. <laughs> Optionally, retry any chance card gambits. See, that's a good blessing. Reveal three encounters. Spider trap with a token. Okay. Young a thieves and wandering tracker. Looting fame almost feels like a curse. <laughs> Just randomly bringing down her fame. Looking to avoid trouble with the local gang of thieves, you duck into an abandoned warehouse. Creeping among the broken wares, er, crates and smashed furniture, you suddenly sense movement above you. An enormous spider hangs among the dusty rafters of the building, uh, attending to the still form of a ha hapless adventurer wrapped in silk and web. As you watch, a terrible creature finishes its gruesome meal and, fully fed, cheats into the deeper shadows. Climb onto the sturdy ce sturdy ceiling beam and work your way towards a silent and still ca uh, ca or cocoon. I'm saying cocoon. Um, the dealer draws an equipment card with a faction trait. Here we see yet another wheel. Choose one to different, remove. Yet I mean, obviously you remove huge, huge failure. Take that. Um, you cut down the remains of the hapless victim only to find nothing more than some old boots and a piece of equipment. Boots melt away before your eyes under the strength of the spider's caustic saliva while the equipment uh, smokes and hisses until you clear it off with water. Armor, armor defense reduced from 6 to 1. One to Explain. bear with caution. I'm not going to use it because this thing only gives us one defense. Oh, I get it. It used to give 6, now it gives 1 because of the saliva. Gotcha. A reward. Got a token. Well earned. All right, let's check this out. Okay, this is good. Um, I like fighting the Black Knight here. Let's do that. It's good practice. It's fun. How long do you have to survive for it again? I forget. Look at this brimstone encounter, though. This looks so cool. Dang. Very scary boy. Protector of the prisoners being held beyond this mortal realm, a mighty foe in, in mighty armor that must be bashed off before he can be killed. We gotta live for 50 seconds. He's not invincible. I don't think he's very killable either. I wonder if he can though. Maybe if you get to hurt him, you get- what the hell? Maybe you get something special if you hurt him. He's getting there. There you go. Bet you could totally kill him if you had the right weapons. Man, that'd be really cool. Okay, fate stealing, yeah. You live, and that is for, that is fortune in itself. Like the sun, fate shines on all that are not in shadow. Alright, so... 
Gain equipment. We don't want that. I think you just remove one of these. We would love that. Oh, that puts us to 170. Okay, we gotta hit that card. Just remove anything but that. Yeah, you gotta hit that. Oh no, redraw, 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 redraw. He's done it. Oh my god, 170, let's go. And we have three tiles, which means let's we're going to be able to get that, uh, given your position. to get Malgus back. We're at 170. Holy crap, we actually have done it. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's what not take any damage. Price on a man's head? And you'll Light find weapons are recommended. Crawls out of the woodwork no, 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 in no, no, order to claim here. it. Don't want to mess anything up. Silencer, an anarchist. I can't believe we actually made it to 170, though. Right, no malachite makes this a lot harder. Bullshit. I think we're gonna be fully healed so we can take all the damage we want. I think. <laughs> Cause I think yeah, I think I really don't think it matters because um I feel like if you needed 170 life, then the mission would say that instead of max life. And because it says max life, that makes me think that doesn't matter what your life is at currently, you'll get fully healed. So I think we're fine. Alright. I, I did take a lot of uh, stupid hits, but don't think it's gonna matter. Force hit. Okay. I was not forced hit, so that's good. You gotta be close. There you go. Pretty sloppy, but his face is on fire, so that's a plus. Coming, you hear as the din of battle fades. Spend a little time searching the fallen before leaving discreetly. Another ten max life. Wow, seven food. Reveal this last encounter for us. Healer. Okay. Let's check her out. By healing from Malaclips. Okay, so we can just do that. Ignore this and go. But I kind of want to see what that last one is. By information is mapping. By food, we don't need. It's by healing, I guess. We can heal many things, she says, for a price. So how much are we missing? We're missing 717. So let's buy this. Okay. For better or for worse, Wandering the tracker. northerners understand these lands better than most. One day you meet a northerner displaced from her homeland by warfare. She explains that she is a tracker for hire, working for those who can pay. Speaks at length about the nearby terrain. You learn nothing new from her tales. Okay. That's mapping. Alright, looks like we might get gold token there here are those if we beat moments this. Before death, where everything appears to stand still. Can you feel it? Creeping closer. Drawing its breath. My sources say he will arrive here sometime tomorrow. Mace, it seems your destiny is at hand, warrior. Turn in for the night. In the morning, the innkeeper bids you farewell. Good luck, warrior. Hear no sound as it strikes you. No sound, no warning, not even a hint that the reaper had appeared behind you. You stagger to your, nears, your knees, the enchanted shaft of the reaper's magical, uh, famous magical arrow protruding from your side. 130 max life. You recover from the force uh, of the magic arrow as your assailant appears, approaching cautiously. 
So strong magic indeed to shrug off my arrow as an ogre or golem, he remarks as you remove the shaft and inspect it. Let's switch our equipment. So because we lost that life, I don't think we're going to go down to 30 if we take off our one-handed, right? Yes, okay, that's good. Because I think we want that. If you, you hear the familiar chant of the innkeeper as magic fills your veins, returning your vigor in a rush. Okay, that's fine. Find the find the blade is er find the blade it is then sorry the reaper readies his, the reaper readies his blade to finish you off. This should be easy. So one v well one v two actually, <laughs> right? Doesn't have any bodyguards. Another brimstone encounter. Check him out. The reaper, death's messenger. Reaper performs quick, heavy attacks. Use evade to avoid damage. Whoa. Okay. What? Seriously? Okay. What? I. The fuck? Yeah. Okay, he does it twice. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Does he just go until he hits you? What the hell? One, two, three. Okay, just three is unless he hits you once. One, two, three. This is really cool, actually. I'm like totally into this. That was my bad, actually. Oh, dang. I don't think we can lose this, though. We have so much health. Imagine if we got the elixir of life. Boom. Five health. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sir, sure, bud. I think that's a gold token. Two in a row. Reaper lies dead at your feet, but uh, searching his body reveals few clues as to who sent him. You return to the inn to recover from your ordeal and plan your next move. There Even you go, that's death gold. itself lies defeated, or at least its agents. For surviving the Reaper's arrow. To think yourself Good spider trap. Immortal. Fabled Beast, Interception, and a General Store card to place in our deck ourselves, okay. Surviving the Reaper's Arrow, Harvest Blade, Broad Shield, and Tiger's Eye, and a Gold Token. For surviving the Reaper's Arrow with lots of life to spare. Oh, we get Reaper's Arrow, that's cool. And the Sacrificial Bond. This is for Spider, I think. We're venturing into the Spider's Nest, Imperial Helm. Well, that was fun. That last fight was actually so cool. <laughs> I really like that enemy. It was fun to fight. There you go. Oh, look, our whole map is revealed now. Oh, wait, maybe not quite. Well, we have unlocked the moon. Anyways, that was death. Next time we're going to be doing temperance. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you next time.